pageant. But what she really wants to do is direct documentaries on wildlife in different cultures. She also loves to whitewater raft, climb rocks, and trek the Himalayas. swimsuit competition which comes with a $2,500 modeling contract from Authentic Fitness in India. Oh my gosh, you know, she Julie? was stunning. She was. She just has a presence about her on that stage. Very elegant. When she's on stage, I cannot take my eyes off of her. She just captures everything around she's her. She's beautiful. Look, it is so close. Oh my goodness, it certainly is. Now look, note it. India. Oh, you're from a family of pilots. But say your goal is to, you know, you want to jump from a plane. <laughs> Are the pilots in your family that bad? <laughs> um, well, not really. My father and my sister are both pilots, but I guess I've clocked in so many miles sitting behind flying as a passenger that I guess it's time that I jumped out. <laughs> That's something I've always wanted to do, skydive. All right. Now, India has had some very prominent female leaders. What makes women politicians different from men? I think what makes women politicians different from men is a certain amount of sensitivity. Um, I think the women are very strong in India, they're very well educated, those who are educated, and um, they're standing shoulder to shoulder with their men and making a mark in their own field. All right. Thank you. You've been trained in a very uh, particular classical Indian dance. You knew this was coming. Help me pronounce it and show us a few steps. Uh, well, it's called Bharatnatyam. I can't do it in this gown because I need to squat to dance. <laughs> but it's um, about fitting into a universe which is square and your center of gravity, therefore you squat, so your center of gravity is lower. And a few steps, well, it goes with your hands. This is Pataka, that is Tripataka, and that is Padma. Well, thank you, India. Thank you. You may take your mark. Thank you. 
this girl blows me away. Completely Jilly blows me away. She's absolutely breathtaking, and she really seems to have it all together. And the thing is, she's so calm. She just exudes calmness Grace out there. under pressure, I think it's called. I and think she if, has it. if she were running for office, I'd vote for her. You just the want to believe It's everything. unbelievable. Yeah, believe everything she said. <laughs> all right, let's go back. This is going to be so tough, but I'm going to go with India, Venezuela, and Spain. Okay, everybody's going to think we like totally cheated and copied off each other, but I had the same thing. Really? India, Venezuela, and Spain. You know, Julie, this is the part. I always get to do India! Same question, same amount of time. All right. That's your fan club. Here's your final question. Right now, there's a protest going on right outside here calling the Miss Universe pageant disrespectful of women. Convince them that they're wrong. I think pageants. I think pageants like the Miss Universe pageant gives us young women a platform to foray into the fields that we want to and forge ahead, be it entrepreneurship, be it the armed forces, be it politics. It gives us a platform to voice our choices and opinions and makes us strong independent that we are today. Thank you. Thank you, India. Once again, our three five. You know, I didn't have much to say about the other girls, but this girl I really have to stand behind. When she grabbed that microphone from Sinbad, she, she pulled in the audience with look, her bean. Her she presence. knows. She knows that she handled it so, so well. And for any reason, right here, ladies. If for any reason the winner cannot fulfill her duties, the first runner-up will take over. Tonight's first runner-up, Venezuela! And the new Miss Universe 2000 is India! Provided in part by Cypress Airways. 